Hey guys, this is Jesse with Dream.com. This is a tutorial about the basics of PHP. Um, PHP is a loosely typed language and I'm going to assume you already have your server installed so that you can load PHP on your hard drive. If you don't, you probably want to look on Google for something called WAMP if you're on Windows, uh, MAMP if you're on Macintosh, or LAMP if you're on Linux and that'll help you get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go into your working uh, server directory and just create a index file and that's where I am here. Every page starts with PHP with a little question mark and to end it you just do that. Most of the time I don't end it. Um, to create, let's just say to echo something, echo Hello, my name is Jesse. Okay, I'm using single quotes here, and I'll explain the difference between. Single and double quotes in a minute. So if we load this. Hello, my name is Jesse. Okay, if you use double quotes, um, it'll still print the same thing, but let's say we want to make a variable and all variables start with a dollar sign and then uh, let's just call it name and name equals Jesse okay. now if I want to put this variable inside of this string right here I can type name and here's where you'll see the problem with the single quotes see it prints it literally but if you use the double quotes it will actually parse the value okay hello my name is Jesse so most of the time you want to use single quotes unless you're um, wanting to parse a value another alternative you could do is let's pretend these are back to single quotes it's called concoctionation I don't know how to say it um, but you just add a period it's kinda like adding to a string hello my name is Jesse see we forgot a space after the uh, string here so add a space there there it is and if you want to add on a little bit more you just add another period and I like pizza Okay, um, so working with variables, it's uh, pretty basic. You never want to start one with a number. This is illegal. Um, you can start them with underscores. You can't start them with dashes. So just try to keep it usually either with an underscore or a letter to start it with. Um, if you want to do a digit, you don't have to put the um, quotes around it. And this is a literal integer. So age is 34. I'm actually 25. And I am dollar age years old. Hello, my name is Jesse, and I like pizza, and I'm 25 years old. Sound like a real cool guy, huh? Um, other things you can do. Uh, I'm guessing you're going to pick up all this variable stuff pretty quick. Um, let's say we want name2 to equal name. You just type name2 equals name. I'm going to erase all this. So echo name2. And if you guess right, uh, name2 is going to output Jesse. Okay. Now, if we want a three variables to equal that, you can just do the same thing. Name three equals that. And you could do echo name three. Easy peasy. Uh, there's also reference variables. These might be a little more confusing and something you really don't need to worry about off the bat. But they're within an and sign. 
So anyways, there's a lot of variable manipulation you can do. It's uh, not too hard to pick up. Uh, one of the things you'll be working with a ton in PHP is called arrays. And to make an array, you just type in array like that. Uh, usually we want to give an array a variable, so let's just call it um, names equals array. Okay. Now arrays are going to take quite a bit of practice to get used to, but they're one of the most useful things you can understand. And I'm just going to start out with a simple array. Uh, and these are going to be some names. Jesse, comma, Joey, Jenny, and Justine. Okay. Now if you want to echo out names, you're going to see it says array. Um, an array has a key and a value. So even though uh, this looks like this is all it is, really there's a hidden key right here. So this would start at zero. One, two, and so on. Um, so if I wanted to echo names in the very first slot, which is Jesse, you use these square brackets and you type zero because names uh, arrays they always start with zero and refresh and you get Jesse so it might look confusing that Justine looks like it's slot number four but that would actually be number three because you go zero one two three and there's Justine you can also do what are called associative arrays okay and those are arrays identified by uh, a string like this because normally it looks like this like I just showed you now you can't have the same keys so you're gonna have to count these if you type them in manually same result um, associative arrays they have a uh, for this slot here it's a string So I'll just call this oldest boy, or wait, youngest boy. This one's oldest boy. This one's oldest girl, and youngest girl. Okay. Now, if you echo names three, since this is an associative array, you're not going to get anything. Um, so you would actually have to do names youngest girl and that will give us Justine Okay. you might say well why would I want to use an array uh, when you're dealing with like a lot of data and you can also sort arrays and um, they're like little pockets to store chunks of data and very useful uh, probably one of the more important things you need to learn is to use arrays um, if I put this back just to how it was, okay, and let's just uh, echo names two, and that should give us Jenny, okay. Now you can do things like uh, sort names, and that'll give us Joey. Why? Because it sorted it alphabetically and as you can see Jenny was slot 2 as you see 0 1 2 um, since it sorted it alphabetically Joey the O comes after Jenny so it really moved it to here okay there's a lot of sorting things you can use like K sort and everything but before this tutorial is over let's do something uh, kind of fun so that it feels like you're not just learning about nothing uh, let's make a form. So we're going to end our PHP tags. Type form action equals index.php. That's the name of this page. And method equals post. 
and your form tags and let's make input type equals text name equals let's just call it name and type name before that and then let's make a submit button input type equals submit value equals print name okay so uh, we have a little form here you click this it just refreshes the page right now let's have it do a post request so we'll say post and what do we want to post we want to post whatever's in this text field and we grab that by the name right here and we call the name coincidentally so post name okay that's how we post data from a form and we can just do echo post name test and there it is it's printed right at the top easy peasy now if you go back to your page um, just index.php see there's a problem because it's trying to post this uh, right when you load the page so a good way around that is to uh, change the URL right here just add a uh, little query string and by doing that you add a question mark and let's just type in check okay and we do if uh, I didn't go over if statements but just type along for now I guess if is set and this is a request not a post request check then we will echo the post name so we refresh this you see you get no error anymore test and there it is and you'll see the URL changes with a question mark check and this is uh, fetched with a get or request I usually use request um, and I suppose that's good for the first video